everyone, my name is Haley Goodell and I am a staff engineer here at Intelligent Concrete and today I will be demonstrating how to perform ASTM C1608 chemical shrinkage for a hydraulic cement paste and we will be going over procedure A which is the volumetric method. So I'm very excited to show you and let's jump right into it. So first we have to create a warm water bath to place our vials in. So I'm using a sous vide, which is an electric cooker that keeps the water at a consistent temperature. And the spec says to keep the water between 23 degrees Celsius plus or minus 0.5 degrees Celsius, which comes out to between 72 and a half degrees and 74 and a half degrees Fahrenheit, or 74.3. So I set the temperature to 74 degrees Fahrenheit. And after that bath is set up, we get to weigh up our mix. So I used a mix design that I found in a paper written by the Bureau of Reclamation that also performed this chemical shrinkage test. So I used 350 grams of cement and 140 grams of water for this mortar. Also note, I made three of these bags, but two were unnecessary, so learn from my mistakes. I made three originally because typically you would add nano silica or fly ash or some other admixture or cement replacement to this mortar to test the difference, but we didn't have enough vials or stoppers to do so, so I just did three cement and water mixes. After you weigh up your materials, take your fluid mix and allow it to rest for 30 to 90 seconds. Then you're gonna go ahead and hand mix the bag making sure to get all those quarters, mix it up for 30 to 60 seconds, and then place it on a vibratory table. Once it's on the table, start agitating it, moving it around, really that, getting that mix consistent. Before you place the mortar mix into the vial, you're gonna weigh the vial and the stopper to the nearest 0.01 gram, and then you'll go ahead and put the mix into the system. So you'll fill it up to about three millimeters in height, making sure to consolidate it with each amount of paste. Now you wanna keep your heights consistent between each sample. So even if it's above three millimeters, you'll still wanna keep those consistent. Once the mix is placed into the vial, then you will, be, you will add de-aerated water to the top. And de-aerated water is just water that has been boiled and then allowed to cool with a cover on. Then you'll place the stopper into the vial, making sure to remove the air bubbles. Now this is the hardest part. It's really hard to get those air bubbles out, just lots of patience and steady hands. And then you will make sure that it's less than a millimeter on this, this graduated stopper, and you will measure the volume every 30 minutes to the 0 0.0025 milliliter. So you'll measure every 30 minutes and then you can take a break after eight hours and eventually you will measure these vials for 24 hours and you should have a complete data set. Thanks everyone for watching. I had a blast learning how to do this test and demonstrating it to you guys. There were a few errors, so don't be afraid to say in the comments down below, hey Haley, you messed up. But all in all, I think this should give you a great idea on how to perform the test. And as always, always refer to the specification if you're trying to perform this yourself. Thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ding that bell for notifications. Go concrete, be asphalt.